Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. I need to go to Trader Joe's, but eh, I bought this wind, what do you call it, weather shield, um, windshield shade, whatever, because it's just been so brutal here that oh, <clears throat> I felt like I needed to do something because the dashboard and more importantly, the little contraption that I have there to mount the camera was burning hot. Like not, ooh, boy, that's kind of warm. No, burning hot. So I definitely was very concerned about that, you know, gigantic chunk of metal devices heating up. I mean, it's why I'm always putting the camera here instead of on the dashboard because it's always so hot. You know, I don't want to stick my camera on there. So that's why I got the sun shield. Just thought you'd want to know since I was just ripping it off on cam. But I'm trying to beat the storms because apparently we're under a flood watch, severe storm warning that was supposed to hit around, I don't know, four to six. But my wife said it got moved up. It's cloudy, but it doesn't look like it's really awful out yet. So I think we're good to go. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens from here. Anyways, oh, and I had to air it out because it's still hot as balls in here. <clears throat> Today was another one of those awful days of, of day job stuff where I had three calls. So pretty much my entire day has been sitting on these damn calls. And now I need to kind of do my office day that I didn't do yesterday. And I already packed at least, so I'm good to go there for my route up to DC. So this is gonna be a quick video because like, you know, there isn't really all that much for me to, to talk about uh, other than the fact that I don't really have a lot of time to make this video. And I don't wanna be up until freaking 11 o'clock tonight sitting in my office trying to run reports and all that shit. So. I've talked about this before, but I'm going to bring it up again for those of you that haven't watched any of the other videos or for people that need to have this reiterated. And that's when you are not a full-time creator, meaning this isn't my job. YouTube is not my job. Photography, videography, it's not my job. My passion, my fun, my hobby, I mean, whatever you want to call it, I mean, I pretty much do nothing but this kind of stuff anyways when I'm not doing my day job. And my day job sometimes requires a lot of work. And it's not a nine to five job either. So it isn't like I get up, I work from nine to five and then I'm done. I mean, I'm constantly working. And in the past, my wife has literally had to tell me, you need to freaking stop. All you do is work. Even when you're not working, all you're doing is work. You're constantly checking your phone, or your iPad, or going up to the computer and all that kind of stuff. There has to be a point where you stop working. And I was horrible about it. I was constantly working and it was making me miserable. That's why I do so much of this photography stuff and I, why I go into Pleasure House Point or wherever to take pictures and why I carry a camera with me everywhere because I like to interject as often as possible things that I like to do so that I'm not in the headspace of always working. Now, yes, I had all those calls today. I didn't realize I was supposed to have three calls, but you know, shit happens. There's a special project that's due at the end. Well, I guess it's due Monday. I thought it was due Friday, but it doesn't matter. It's due basically in a week. And you know what that means. It means forms. It means me filling out dozens of forms again, provided everybody responds to me. So I'm gonna go up to DC tomorrow I spend the night, I have one meeting the next morning, then I drive back. And then it, it will be nothing but me hunting people down for this freaking project and doing all the paperwork for it. That being said, okay, yeah, great, it's my job. And that being said, that's why I can't spend a lot of time doing this. That's why I couldn't do this, even getting to myself to full time doing this, not that I would, but you get what I'm saying? Like, life intrudes, and I've been seeing another wave of, 
of creators that are frustrated and they're burned out because they're doing this full time. They're putting all these freaking videos up. They're shooting all this video. They're doing all this crap. They're flying their drones, blah, 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 blah. And they're doing everything. And they don't have time to do anything because they're also going to the gym. They're trying to hang out with their family. And a lot of them, sometimes they're not hanging out with their family. And that's where the problem comes up for them. So they're doing all this crap and everything and trying to find the time to, to do their creating stuff. So it's now a chore rather than something that they like to do. And that is where you hit that point of, of I, I guess, what, what they'll call burnout, where it's just one more thing for them to have to do. They have so much to do, and I don't have the time to do it. Well, you have the time. You just have to schedule your time better. You have to be better at time management. And that includes knowing when not to take something on. And that's what a lot of people have a hard time doing because they have all these mega creators, all these massive influencers saying, you got to grind, you got to grind. If you got to get one hour of sleep a night or you got to pull all these all nighters, then that's what you got to do to get things done. That's what you got to do to be successful. Sorry, but I don't think sleeping one hour a night or not sleeping at all several days in a row, not hanging out with my family, not doing personal things that I actually like to do because I'm grinding. I'm just grinding to get shit done so that I can do these 50,000 things that I've told myself that I need to do to be successful. That's not success to me. Maybe it is to them, but for me, it's not success. Success is me having the time or making the time to do the things that I want to do. Yes, a lot of times that comes with sacrifice. I could not have this camera, this microphone, the other cameras and lenses and lighting and studio build out and computers and iPads and all that kind of stuff if I wasn't making money. And in order to do that, I need my day job, which means I have to have the time or I have to make the time to do my job, my day job, because that affords me the ability to do this, what I like to do, what I enjoy doing. It's not always easy. Sometimes you have to sacrifice stuff. Like I said, on Friday, I spent the entire day in my office doing day job shit. And I didn't plan on that. I planned on being outside because it was gorgeous. Now, I did take the weekend and I did nothing but this kind of stuff. And hanging out with my wife going antiquing and laying there watching Sven Gulli and just having a good time and not doing any work. So see what I mean? So don't let anybody convince you that you need to be working 26 hours a day, grinding away, building in this almost hate of what you love to do. Do what you love to do because it's what you love to do. Everything else, as far as I'm concerned, is just helping you be able to do that. That's why money's not the enemy. That's why having a job isn't the enemy. Sometimes jobs suck. Sometimes not having enough money sucks because then you have to work more at your job to get more, to be able to do what you want to do. But take a step back, loosen your sphincter, and remember what you like to do, what makes you happy. Because that is why you should be doing the things that you're doing so that you can continue to do what you like to do and do more of it without having the stress of, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this, because eventually you're gonna lose sight of why you're doing it in the first place, which I thought was because you like to do it. There, I'm off my soapbox, that's all I wanted to say. I need to go into Trader Joe's and get this shit done and get back. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up.